गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टीच यू सेमी कंडक्टर डायोड टॉपिक वन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ कंडक्शन एंड सेमी कंडक्टर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक यू शुड नो व्हाट इज सेमी कंडक्टर दिस द मटेरियल हुज कंडक्टिविटी लाइज बिटवीन मेटल्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स सेमी कंडक्टर्स आर द मटेरियल्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन मेनी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस लाइक वाइज वी आर यूजिंग आवर मोबाइल एंड डेली लाइफ it is fabricated with the ics and chips and semiconductor materials is used in the fabrication of ics in your uh, comics labels in uh, semester 4 i think you will be reading a uh, whole subject integrated circuit analysis and that you will uh, learn the method of fabricating the ic also here we will only get the Uh, knowledge of semiconductors the materials the semiconductor elements and electrons holes and everything in uh, basic electronics but in detail we will study the fabrication of chips ics and many things related to our electronic life in uh, semester 4 now in mechanism of conduction how the conduction takes place in semiconductors we will read and topics which are will be covered in this presentation are mobility and conductivity electrons and holes in an intrinsic semiconductor donor and acceptor impurities fermi level carrier densities in semiconductors hall effect diffusion and recombination so we should start our presentation as i have told you that semiconductors are the materials which have resistivity or conductivity intermediate between the metals and insulators okay the element there are elemental semiconductors like silicon and germanium compound semiconductors which are made by mixing two semiconductors they are also categorized into inorganic organic and organic polymers now the, this is the energy band diagram of semiconductor this is the energy band of valence band and this is the energy band of conduction band valence band is the band in which there are valence electron and these are the conduction band and the gap between the valence band and conduction band is called band gap energy which is should be less than 3 electron volt in there is in case of metals the valence band and electron bands valence band and conduction bands are overlapping and there is in insulators the energy gap is very large now there are two types of semiconductors intrinsic and extrinsic intrinsic are pure semiconductors they are not having any impurities whereas extrinsic external impurities are added and they are also called as doped semiconductors now the electrons in an and holes in an intrinsic semiconductor as you can show as you can see there are the <coughs> this is the two dimensional view of in, intrinsic semiconductor crystal each circuit in this each circle in this diagram representing the nucleus of an atom and all the electrons in an atom are called valence electrons these are the bonds of the valence electrons which are tightly bonded in case of intrinsic semiconductor when we apply the electric field the electrons the extra electrons are shifted from left to right in the drift of free electrons in intrinsic semiconductor and same as this figure also illustrate the uh, drift of holes from left to right as the electric field is applied like where you can you have seen the water bubble game in which there is a water in a, a bottle and children put the uh, thing, uh, whole thing and then the soap solution comes in it and then they flow the bubble so bubbles moves in the opposite direction of the air flow so same here the electric field is applied the electrons and holes moves from left to right now the mobility and conductivity mobility and conductivity are the terms when an electric field is applied to an intrinsic semiconductor the free electrons drift with the velocity the electron move from left to right and the velocity with which they are move it is v is equals to minus mu e e the mu e is the electron mobility and same with the holes drift velocity vh is equals to plus mu h 
टी वेन यू एच इज द होल मोबिलिटी नाउ कम्स द कंडक्टिविटी कंडक्टिविटी इज द सम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड होल मोबिलिटी नाउ दिस इज गिवन बाई सिग्मा इज गर्स टू एन आई प्लस न्यू ई प्लस न्यू एच प्लस टी एन आई इज द इंट्रेंसिक कैरियर कंसेंट्रेशन न्यू ई एंड न्यू एच आर द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड होल मोबिलिटी एंड टी इज द चार्ज नाउ डोनर एंड एक्सेप्टर इंक्लूटी अ सेमी कंडक्टर वेन डोब विद द मटीरियल विच डोनेट्स द एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज कॉल्ड डोनर इंक्लूटी एंड वेन इट इज डोब विद द इंक्लूटी विच इज हैविंग अ वैकेंसी एज अ होल एच ओ एनी होल वेन इट इज नोन एज द एक्सेप्टर इंक्लूटी टी टाइप्स आर एक्सेप्टर एंड एन टाइप आर डोनर नाउ in n type you can see that there are donor atoms which are having extra electron which can be donated or shared now p type semiconductor this is having a hole and acceptor impurity atoms which can be in a electron or form a electron hole pair now what is fermi level fermi level is the energy level which is occupied by the electron orbital at temperature equal to 0 kelvin you can see the fermi level in case of metal the valence band and conduction band are overlapping whereas in semiconductor the valence band and conduction band are at some intermediate gap from the fermi level but whereas in insulator valence band and conduction band are far away from each other from fermi level now the carrier density charge carrier density also known as carrier concentration we know the number of charge carrier in per unit volume it is per volume so si unit is measured in per meter cube charge per electron is minus q so the charge per unit volume is given by rho is equal to n q n is the number of electron and q is the charge per electron now the hall effect as it is named as it is here with the name itself hall hall was a scientist he edwin hall discovered in 1879 that when a electric field is applied perpendicular to the direction of flow of charge carrier A charge experiences a force in transverse to the direction of applied magnetic field and carrier flow. See here, when a electric field and magnetic field are applied perpendicular to each other, then a electric current flows. See, this is the negatively charged upper surface. This is positively charged lower surface, and the holes are accumulated at the bottom, and the charge flows. This effect is known as Hall effect. Now diffusion. when p type and n type semiconductors are taken if n type is taken there are uh, donor impurity levels if uh, p type is taken there are acceptors if if in n type they donate the extra electrons and in p type they donate the they take the extra holes so diffusion is a movement of impurity atoms in a semiconductor material at high temperature no external electric field across the semiconductor is required for diffusion the movement of electron and flow uh, holes from uh, semiconductors at high temperature is known as diffusion so when the when these electrons and holes move from semiconductor material from each other and they form electron and hole pair this formation of this combination of electron and hole is known as electron hole recombination so this process is known as recombination thank you and this is the first talk and the first topic of mechanism of conduction in semiconductor